I knew there was something missing. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? <laughs> yes, I can hear you. Okay, now. yeah. I, I knew I knew there was something. Something was missing here. Something was amiss. <laughs> I'm over here. I'm over here, like talking to you, and all of a sudden, you like, "Hello, hello, <laughs> hello." Oh man! Like, yeah, because I heard like a little thing in the background, but it wasn't a voice. So I'm like, "Okay, maybe we're having technical difficulties right now." Yeah, we was having te technical difficulties there for a second, man. I mean, that was like <laughs> crazy. All right, all right. So, what's up? Let me go ahead and get this segment of the uh podcast started so what's up guys lockout men in the truck on the 30 with a special interview for you today this young lady and myself yeah I, I don't know if you guys remember her but she came in she came into the uh into the uh live session of queen trucking's video and we kind of like hit it off she also called me when i went live on my uh on my uh channel as well and i'm i'm not sure if you guys remember it was like maybe about a couple of weeks ago it's it's a couple of videos back it only got like so many views on there but that's that's how you guys are here on youtube you know what i'm saying if it's nothing <laughs> if it's nothing interesting to you guys it's you, you guys ain't gonna watch I, I i say i'm in the bathtub taking a shower and all like that and i only get like one or two views but if i tell <laughs> if i tell you guys that i'm in a horrible accident and 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 the wheels fell off then i got like a thousand views everybody and their mama want to see that mm-hmm uh -huh. mm -hmm. everybody and their mama wants to see that right there they What's, always want to see the drama they all want to see the drama that is unfolding on you tizzy what's up guys lockout men in the truck on the 30 for this podcast once again that you guys can see as I said before, this young lady, she she came in and she's she's not she's not a truck driver, not a truck driver yet, but she wanted to come on and share her experience of her journey to becoming a truck driver. You know what I'm saying? The 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 way that she's going, the the research that she's doing, the work that she's putting in to becoming the truck driver i would have to commend this young lady for what she's doing because she's doing it she's doing the damn thing all right so today on the show i would like for you guys to put your hands together for my girl am i pronouncing your name right sharika <laughs> Uh, nothing much. I'm over here just relaxing. How are you? How are you doing? Man, I'm 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 on the truck. Well, actually, I wasn't on the truck. See, I'm downtown Cleveland, and I stopped over. You know, stopped stopped down here for a little bit. But uh, me and her got into a into a conversation via text message, and I thought that you know what she was telling me was good information for you guys to know. And I'm like, yo, let's. I was like, let's do this. I, I said, I, I I said for you, I can pull over right quick and and get this podcast done for you. Well, thank you. You're very That's welcome. Sweet. Thank you. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. For for the people that don't know who you are, man, and you know where you're from, why don't you let these people know who you are and where you're from? All right. So, like you said, my name is Sharika. Um, I go by Rika Cherry on basically all social media platforms and stuff but um i'm originally from jamaica so i wasn't born here in america i was born in jamaica uh we came to america when i was 12 lived in brooklyn since then and currently i'm residing in illinois so Man. that's where i'm at now we got the trifecta going on right here, y'all. We got the we got the Jamaica Mon right here in the house. Now and then the Bed Stuy, Brooklyn. We got Bed Stuy and Illinois and up in Chicago too. I mean, man, yes, she yes. This, I mean, she came from the home. She she came from the home of the Marley. I'm wearing a t-shirt. She came from home of the Marley. Then she went to the home of the Biggie. You know what I'm saying? And then she went to the home of the Kanye West. This is the, this is the trifecta right here. Oh, man. So you got everybody. You got everybody. So how is it? Well, how is it first growing up in Jamaica 
and then moving to moving to Brooklyn, New York, and then now where you at in uh, Chi Town? Well, Jamaica, I loved it. Um, I know a lot of people. I used to get people asking me questions like, "Did you live in a in a wooden house?" And I'm like, "No, uh, we lived in a nice house, four bedroom, had my own bathroom. Like we lived pretty well back home, you know." And there's a difference coming from a big house that we had in Jamaica with the yard and everything like that, right. and then living in Brooklyn where we were in an apartment building, so that was a big adjustment, um, not having the space we were used to, um, you know, the freedom we had back home and everything. So there was that adjustment period that definitely went through in school too. My accent was a lot thicker. I know you can't hear it now, but it's still there if I want to bring it out, mm-hmm. you know, but... <laughs> I went through the whole bullying thing with school because of the accent and stuff. Me, I'm very honest and straightforward. So, I mean, I say it like how I see it. People don't like that. And especially with a little accent that you have from here, they tend to look at you a little different. Okay, okay. Um, you know, so um did that adjust, but it was okay. Uh, well, I'm forget, here. I survived. You know what? Forget, <laughs> forget them bullies now. Look at look, look at you now. Look at you now, this beautiful young lady right here. See, by you guys over here bullying her and pushing her to the wayside, look look where she at now. And she's about to and she about to get into this big rig. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and she's me. about to and she's about to get into this big rig. So yeah, there is pretty girls in trucking. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh before you oh, continue you. before you continue to uh to uh Chi Town to where you at, uh let's stick with Brooklyn for a little bit. So you 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 move from a big house into in into apartment. Now I know the apartments in New York is like crazy. You know, especially for, you know, for a fam- you say your whole family, right? So a family of four, you, your mother, and your brother? Well, at the time, it was just me, my mom, and my little brother. Of course, we moved when we moved here to Brooklyn, we moved into our grand aunt's building. So she owned the entire apartment building. Oh, okay. We had a couple of other family members in other apartments and stuff. But in that one, it was me, my mom, my brother, and my grandmother. Oh, okay. I believe my uncle was there, too. Okay, so living in an apartment though was a, was a big adjustment for you though. Oh yes, oh yes. Especially like you couldn't, <laughs> you, you can't just go outside in the backyard no more. Now you have to go outside on the stoop. None of that. You got to share a bathroom. I was used to have my own bathroom back home and everything. I was like, okay. <laughs> so what 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 brought y'all what what brought y'all to the states? What what brought y'all to the states and and New York in general? Well, I would say my grand, she's the first one in the family that, um, um, you know, traversed here to America and everything. And she filed for children and got them up here to America. And then and children filed for their children and brought them up. So that's how me and my brother came with my mom after the fact. Um, I guess, you know, they say to get, to have a better life, to make a better living and everything like that. So... Uh, to me, I'd say that's a give and take because honestly, I feel like uh, sometimes I live way better back home than I here, and I'm right. not going to lie. Right. But there is a lot more opportunities here. I will say that. So there's a lot more opportunities to build, to build up your wealth, to own things, if you want to call it own, because there's a whole lot of different stipulations with older things in America, but um, let's leave that. Um, but you can... You can make a better way for yourself. You, you can make more money and stuff like that. So, you yeah. want you you want the American dream. That's 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 the whole purpose of that's the whole purpose of everybody coming here. You know what I'm saying? That was the whole purpose exactly. of everybody coming here. They they want the American dream. Now you didn't come. Now you wasn't the stereotypical uh, foreigner to come over to the states uh, by no boat, right? How how did you no. get o- how did you get over here? We were completely legal, okay? I believe we flew on Air Jamaica. It was nice. It was my first time flying. Believe it or not, I was leaving um, primary school. Um, mm-hmm. I had just basically did my exams to go to high school in Jamaica, and that was like the seventh, um, sixth grade. You do your um, exams to go to high school. It starts at wow. seventh grade. Seventh grade? So, yes. It, I- and the curriculum is so rigorous. Like, it is very good. I'm not going to lie. The curriculum in Jamaica is very good. And, you know, I came up here, I was doing work in the sixth grade up here because it was the end of my sixth grade that I made it here. 
in the work I was doing in sixth grade, I was like, okay, I did this already, you know. But I'm like, okay, I mean, wow. I can do it. Six, <laughs> seventh grade, and you're in high school in seventh. Now up here in the states, I, I I don't know, but when I went to high school, uh, well before all the curriculum has changed. 10th grade was, you know, was the start of high school, but I believe mm-hmm. I believe 10th grade I think it's ninth, if I'm not yeah, mistaken, it's ninth, it's ninth, it's ninth yeah. grade now. So yeah. so how so whoa, so by you when you came over to go to school, was you did they advance you or did they put you back or or how did No, that, they just um, they just put me in the same grade oh, okay. that I was in because I didn't complete the grade officially in Jamaica. Right. But, but I, I kind of did because I did my exams. There was a few more weeks left, and then mm-hmm. I was then going to high school the next term and everything. But because I didn't finish out the grade, they just put me right in the sixth grade, which was fine. Um, and I did go to school in Brooklyn. I went to Maggie L. Walker Middle School in... Brooklyn, New York. Um, it is a broken up school now. They have different schools in there. And then after that, I did go to Tilden High School. But all the people you know what I mean when I say Tilden High School. That's where I went, you know. So I did okay. that. <laughs> okay, that's what's up. So Brooklyn, man. So you, so you, you grew up around. Did you, did you grow up any? Did you grow up around any of a uh, of a uh, of some uh, hip hop artists, did you, did you come into contact with any of them? Some of the new up and coming hip hop artists. Have you have you uh, have you met any or up and coming? Um, as far as okay, so um, my high school crowd, I rolled with a lot of Jamaicans and everything. We had some Americans that rolled with our crew and everything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, Bobby Schmurter was one of them, and the funny thing is. Back in the day when I used to see him, see him I, I was like, okay, whatever, <laughs> you know, and then he turned out to be Bobby Schwartz. I'm like, oh, shit, that's that little nigga that used to come and, you know, smoke with us and chill and everything like that. So, is is he still yeah. in, is he still in jail? I think he might be. I'm not even sure. I don't follow all of that too much, but I think he might still be, Man, which that... is a shame because, you know, he had a meme come up and then he, he lost it, you know. Yeah, that track, that, that, uh, that, um. That track, that uh, that that hot, what is it? Hot, hot inner. Yeah, that that was the track oh. right there. That beat, that beat was raw, and you know, and when everybody remixed it and put their own verse on top of that beat, that was just, it was it was over. It was over, and it's just yeah. it was just unfortunate that that young man had to had to crash and burn like that. But it's a lot, a lot of rappers crashed and burned real quick. Yeah. We ain't we ain't, we ain't talk we ain't talking to you, Takashi. We ain't, we ain't talking about you, man. We ain't talking about you, sis, I, uh, man. You know, I don't know. I don't know about Takashi, bro. I, I've never seen him. I don't think I met him. Maybe should. Maybe before he got all them tattoos. Maybe I've seen him, but I don't think so. And he, where he say he's from, my brother's baby mother is from that area. Oh, okay. And I've certainly never seen him, so... Uh. Well, you probably might you probably might know him now with the with the uh, with the Skittles mouth. Well, I don't even think he got. The, I, I don't think he got the. I don't think he got his grill in his mouth while he's in. Yeah, jail. I don't think he, so. I he think got, he got he, he definitely got the tattoos. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, he, and can't can't talk all that hard shit now, bruh. Can't talk all that hard shit now. You know? Yeah, try try and talk all that hard shit now. I think they got you in what solitary confinement. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so Brooklyn, New York, man. So you uh you graduated you graduated from there. What was um what did you what did you do uh after graduation? What what was what you do after graduation? Funny enough, um as far as graduation went, I did end up leaving Sylvan for a little while and oh, okay. was in Long Island and went to a school over there. So then I was just I was over it. I was over the high school drama, all of it. So I ended up leaving high school. Yes, I know. I dropped out, whatever. Uh, I, <laughs> no, don't feel bad, though. I joined the military, and I went there and there as um, their GD program got my GD through there, mm-hmm. and later on went to college. So I do have my associate's degree in criminal justice, so don't feel oh, bad. Okay, I'm okay, okay. Good. Criminal justice. What, what, what? You, you want to be a lawyer, a cop? What's, what's that? 
I thought about going the lawyer route because people like, oh, you're very good with conversation. You're very good at arguing conversation and everything at your points of cross, debating and everything. And I thought about it for a while, you know. I thought about the whole doctor scene and everything. But I'm the kind of person, I like to be out there. I like to be more physical and into stuff. So I went for criminal justice because I wanted to be a police officer. I wanted to be a detective, actually. Okay. Big fan of uh, Law and Order Special Victims Unit, so I wanted to go in that unit, you know. Uh, so. it's 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 weird. <laughs> it's weird that you mentioned that because I got I got a good friend. I got a dude that I I can honestly call my brother. You know, uh, he's um uh, he's not only a, a poker player, but he's also a night transportation uh trainer. My man D Nitty, yeah. shout out to my man D Nitty. He was actually yeah. in. Um, one of the episodes of Law and Order Special Victims Unit. Oh wow! Nice. Yeah, he uh, he was actually in. He's uh, he started. You know, he he's a truck driver now, but you know, he uh, get he got he got some acting credits up under his belt, man. I I really got to go back and watch all of the uh, all of the all of the shows that he uh, starred in. But you know, he was like a background guy. But still, though, you know, I, I can honestly say that I I am proud to know this gentleman. I met him, I met him some four years ago, uh, back up in Missouri. Uh, we met at the met at the table, and come to find out, we parked right next to each other. This is when I this is when I was at uh, U.S. Express. So yeah, he's from New York also. So shout out, shout out to New York, man. All right, so yeah, definitely. So from New York. You uh you you bounced over to Chi Town. What's what's the uh what's what's the what's the feel what's the feel over in Chi Town? All right, so I did make that move for family because my mom she moved over here. So me and my brother we were in New York and we slowly came over here a few years later. I did come down here two thousand sixteen mm-hmm. and I kinda I didn't like it. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't used to it. I was used to Brooklyn. So I'm like, yeah, I miss my friends. I got to go back. So I did go back. Mm-hmm. And I came back over here a year later because I did miss my family and everything. So um, I'm here now. It's a lot more peaceful. Than, you don't see a lot of uh, that many people per day, as you would say. I could go outside in Brooklyn and go to the corner store. I run into like 500 people before I come back in the house, you know. Right. And over here it's like you you don't really see anybody you don't really see people walking around everybody's driving so the the contact with people i think it's a lot more minimal here than it is in new york okay yeah new york is more of a busybody type of town but shot town is more of a more of a chill more of a chill atmosphere so you you haven't came yeah. across you haven't came you haven't came across kanye Common, no, no, uh, Twister, you, you, you haven't came, <laughs> no. you haven't came across any of those guys. No, no, I don't think they're my area. I ain't seen none of them. Oh man, man, I, 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 <laughs> I, I thought that you probably might come across at least one of them. Well, I, I don't know, Kanye. He's, I don't know, I don't know where Kanye at. Where you at, Kanye? <laughs> I mean, ever since she got, ever since she got with the Kardashians, man, you just. We'll see you no more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. So check it out, man. You know, I I just um, I just got a you know I just got with this young lady, and I I, I really enjoy the conversations that uh the the few conversations that I had with this young lady, and you know it's kind of hard to get a peek of 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 a person's background or in the mind of a person. Who choose, you know, who choose to come into this trucking lifestyle, or the hustle, or the hustle that goes with it? So what I want to do, what I want to do, Sharika, Sharika, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> what I want to do, Sharika, is do what I want to call a quick question segment. You ready? All right, I'm ready. All right, sleep hot or cold? He said, sleep hot or cold? Yes, yeah, sleep hot I- or sleep cold. Sleep hot. Sleep I like hot. you warm. Okay. <laughs> Cash or card? It depends, but I keep a lot of my money in the card. I don't keep a lot of cash with me. Okay. Ice cream cone or waffle? <sighs> mm. 
Damn, I love the waffle cones. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That's what's up. Ice cream scoop or shake? Scoop. Scoop. Okay. McDonald's or Burger King? Burger King. McDonald's ain't even real. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you and uh, you, you, you. Let me ask you this: shoot or stab? Shoot. Shoot. I'm good with a gun. <laughs> Get it done. I'm good with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> uh, Mary J. Blige or Faith? Mary J. Blige all day. All day. Mm. All day already. Chicken or beef? Are you talking beef like steak? I do love me some steak, but, you know, I, I do nothing with my chicken, too. Okay, okay. Prince or Michael Jackson? Can I say both? Yeah, that, that, that's a tough one right there. That's a tough one. That I'm is, like, mm. that is a tough one right there. Mm -hmm. Apple, apples or oranges? Oranges. Oranges. All right. Yeah. Would when when people ask you when people ask you what kind of product do you drink? Do you say pop or soda? Soda. I swear, when I hear people say pop over here. Uh, I feel like I'm in the 1930s with I Love Lucy or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that just kills me every time. I have this whole confusing story I could tell you. Oh, Lord. All right. Mm. All right. So what you, what you, what you going to do? You going to Netflix and chill or Hulu and cool? I don't know. See, about myself, so either one of those work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh man. Oh. I think you set me up right now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. All right, all right. So, all right, so, so you being from Jamaica, man, uh, I, I, I hear so much about uh, – about how Jamaica really is. If mm -hmm. does 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 everything that people talk about Jamaica is it is it true what they say about Jamaica down there? Like what? Like you know the oceans is clear blue, the guys oh. is like ripped and you know like Eddie Murphy says got they shit on their shoulders and all like that. Is it is it is it is it, is it like beautiful down there or is it like rough rugged and wall like it is in Shadas. it is beautiful and it's also rugged it depends on where you are like um the beaches the water is clear blue crystal it's you can see through the bottom you know go deep out you can still see the bottom it's that beautiful um you do have the other parts where it's not so beautiful and it's not so well made up and everything you know but at the end of the day, it's people going around trying to make a living. We still have farmers there. We still have people, you know, bringing stuff on their head, bringing stuff on their shoulders. They got to make a living for their family, so you got to do what you got to do, okay. you know. So, all right. Some so, shatas and, 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 you know, the beach is mixed in there, too. Okay, okay. And what about the Jamaican sound down there? It's, it's real thick down there, the Jamaican sound. What the, the language music. like patois? No, 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 like music. You know the culture, the culture. Oh yeah, of course we struggle in our music. We love our music. We love our culture. You know, and a lot of people they say reggae, but we have reggae, we have dancehall, and a lot of people don't know that from the islands we have soca music as well, okay. which I'm a big fan of and everything. It's about enjoying yourself, having fun, you know, and that's centered around like carnival and stuff like that so okay yeah. that's what's up that's what's up that is good to hear I, I'm, I'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to make a bucket list to, to make it down to jamaica i keep hearing so much about it man so i am definitely gonna i'm definitely gonna get down there i am a huge fan of uh of uh uh i, I think that movie was made in jamaica the one with Denzel Washington called Out of Time. I think that was in Jamaica, or at least it was supposed to be set in Jamaica. I don't know. Mm. I, I gotta go. I gotta go back and watch it. I gotta go back and yeah. Watch I gotta it. watch that too. All right, Sharika. So you, so 
you you're interested in in the truck driving now what what are you what's your steps what's the process that you're taking to 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 make that happen make that a reality all right so the steps i'm going through i guess would sort of be the steps that everyone's going through but mine is a little different and altered in a way um I know there's routes you can go. You could go to a company, sign on to them, and go to their school, or they have contracted schools that you could go to and everything, but then you're liable to be contracted with that company for a certain amount of time. Right. Me, I did think about going that route, but then I found out about another way. You could either pay for school yourself, and funny enough, another way for paying for school yourself, a lot of people don't know this, the employment office or unemployment office or whatever you want to call it because... Um, they have programs where they will pay for training for you. So I went that route because I had left the job. Um, I was working at everything because uh, I got tired of it. I didn't want to do it anymore, and I wanted to do something more. You know, I just felt like going paycheck to paycheck living like that was not for me, and I wasn't seeing an end to that. So um, I went, and they decided to pay for my program, which my program cost $5,080. So imagine paying $5,080 or even going to a company where you're locked into a contract to do that. I didn't right. want to do that. So they're paying for everything, and that includes paying for my pyramid test, paying for my fingerprints for my hazmat, paying for my endorsements, tankers, triples and doubles, um, Hazmat and what's the other one? Am I missing one? Uh, triples, doubles, hazmat, tankers, uh, passengers will be will probably yeah. be the other one. Yeah, I think I could even get passengers if I wanted, you know. Okay. So they pay for everything. I wouldn't have to pay for anything out of pocket. Just got to get myself to school, and that's it. So enjoy. I'm very much enjoying that because. You know, I don't have to pay for that, and I don't have to be forced to stay with a company. Let's say I go somewhere and I don't like it, but I have to stay there, or else I'll be indebted to this company for how much thousands of dollars, and I didn't want to do that. Okay, so now, so are you in school currently? Well, I was in school, and let me explain. Um, I started school, and like we went over before, I am Jamaican, so... I wasn't born here. I was born right. in Jamaica. I am a citizen of America. I am not illegal. Let me just make that clear because people, that's the first thing they ask. Are you? No, I'm not. I'm a citizen. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I'm fully legal here. But um, you do need proof for your citizenship. And in my case, my mom, when she became a citizen, me and my brother, we were minors. So we became citizens under her citizenship. Under her status, so, right. Exactly. So um, she had the choice of getting us the passport and our own certificate, but she just went ahead and got us the passport because we could use that for travel as well as proof of citizenship. Right. So I made the bad choice of not renewing my passport, Mm -hmm. and it expired. And I didn't know because I've been using it, and it's been working fine, so I didn't really worry about it, (laughs) you know. Um, I went to the DMV the other day, renewed my license and everything like that because it was up for expiration next month. Right. And they did it. Everything was fine. But apparently the CDL is on a federal level and they will not accept it. The system kicks it back because of the expiration date. So right now um, I did finish my first week of CDL school, which is a class course to get all the knowledge for your general, your air bricks and your com- right. you um, got, combination. You, you got your hours done already. Exactly. So I was supposed to do my test, and I went there, and sadly I couldn't. I couldn't continue, which was a blow to me because I really wanted to do this, and I still do. Um, so um, what I did was I sent out for my passport to get renewed, and I'm just waiting for that to come back so I can go ahead and I can do my permit test and also do my fingerprints because I'm not even allowed to do my fingerprints for hazmat without having my valid passport. Exactly, exactly. You got to have a, you definitely got to yes, have that so. proof <laughs> of uh, citizenship because now, yeah. now the um, federal regulations, is, it's kind of hard to get over on that. It, it is. It's kind of hard to get over on that. So you mentioned, yeah. you mentioned that you said you was working and you stopped working. What, what would you, what, was you doing before you decided to come into come into trucking i've done a lot of different things but what i was currently doing or doing at that moment i was um a manager for market source uh, like a store manager for market 
services um, contracted in Target. So I was the store manager for Market Tech there okay. working. And I also worked doing some factory work, which was like line production line stuff. And I just felt like, you know, you look around and I'm like, I can't do this forever. This is not what I want to do, you know. Right. And I just didn't like it. Okay. <laughs> and then... Uh, you know, I, I see all these young kids, and I'm like, this is what the young kids should do. You know, I'm about to be 30. I can't I can't be doing this. Like, no, let them have this. I need to do something else that's going to build my little empire for myself and everything, and this is not going to do it working for somebody, um, you know, doing this little hourly job or something like that. So for I, just, hourly I can't wages. do it anymore. Exactly. Because technically when you come to, I mean, you know, when – when you're coming into this game, technically you are working for a company, depending, uh, you know, mm -hmm. depending on how long you decide to stay that route, and then you go independent, and and yes. you know you go on a route. Even, even I, I even want to say, even with a, with the least opportunity, because a lot of people say, yo, you know, go with the least purchase, you be your own boss. Technically, you're kind of not, because okay, you're. So you're 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 buying the truck you're leasing the truck from the company so mm -hmm. I, I always said you're a glorified company driver you know if you do the lease option but if you if you go the full owner op you know the owner op boom then yeah you'll be your own boss and you can pretty much say hey this is what i want to do this is how i'm going to do it and then boom bam boom um all right, so you're 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 still in school. You're waiting on your uh, you're waiting on your credentials to come through. So in the yeah. midst in the midst of waiting for your credentials to come through, because you know me and you was talking in the in the text. What's the what's what's uh what, what's your research? What what have you done? What have you done while you're waiting for your uh for your credentials to come back? Now remember, you did say that uh, you started off with uh, you started off with Prime, but you know, give me what you said in the in the text. You want me to paraphrase it for you, <laughs> or you still remember? You what can. You said? Um, I still remember it. All right. So you um, said. So you said in the text. I asked you. I asked you. I said, "What was?" I said, "What's your?" Hold on, right quick. You said, uh, "Okay, right here." You say you were still undecided about where you want to go as far as starting your career in trucking. You said you used to you used you used to think prime, but but like I said, don't like how the recruiters treat you didn't like how the recruiters treated you and you're not feeling the sixty thousand miles on the truck with a complete stranger. So how did that go with with the recruiter? So um, I did have some driving jobs before and everything like that with companies and everything. So I was working for Amazon doing um, Amazon delivery and everything like that. And I got a ticket there, and I didn't I didn't even think it was a ticket. I thought it was like a, a summons or something. And when I brought it back to the company, they said they took care of it, just give them the original or copy or whatever. And I gave it. And apparently they did nothing, so I didn't know this ticket was on my license because I didn't go to court. I was supposed to, but I didn't know, you mm -hmm. know. So when I called the prime and everything, I let them know, like, yeah, no, this is not. I'm interested, and I want to come there, and, you know, I send them every information. I never try to withhold anything. And I spoke to one guy, which was, he was very nice, Travis. He was the first person I spoke to. He was very nice. I liked how he talked to me, and he was very professional. Mm -hmm. And then, um, next thing I know, another calling me, and I'm like, well, well the guy that I spoke to, and he's like, oh, I'm going to be doing this. And he sent some stuff to go and drive. I'm not too sure if you know about that, but that's an app that they use where you can submit your information and applications to yeah, different companies. Yeah, the driver, uh, the driver, um, 10th Street, the driver app. Yeah. So um, I did go on there and I submitted whatever I had and everything. Mind you, I didn't even submit anything yet. And this guy, he went ahead and denied the application. So I guess he didn't think I would call him back because I'm like, okay, wait, what the hell? I got denied for what? 
So I called him back, and I'm like, um, so what's going on? And I see that I just finished talking to you, and then you denied my application. Mm-hmm. He's like, well, you didn't pay for this ticket, and, you know, this and that, 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 and you have to pay for it for a year and stuff like that. So I'm like, well, you didn't explain any of that to me, and I didn't know that this was fair. So mind you, this ticket was from, like, two years ago or something, you know. Right. And I, I just paid it off, cleared up everything, um, made sure there's nothing on my license. Okay. Got all my paperwork straight and stuff, and I did. Like I said, I didn't know that that was there. If I knew it was there, I would have taken care of it. But I thought the company would take care of whatever because they took the summons took or ticket, ticket or whatever it was from me. Exactly, you know. So I didn't know what was going on. So he's like, he wrote me an apology email saying oh, he's sorry and whatever, whatever, and get get back in contact with him and stuff. But at this point, because the way he did it. Because we had a couple conversations, and the way he did that, I, I just kinda, felt a little kind of turned kind of turned you off from there. Yeah, like why would you do that? Like you know, like I mean, I know there's protocols and things you do, but why would you just deny my thing without explaining anything, talking to me, or seeing what the situation was? And I just felt like that was wrong. And when I called the talk after that, he didn't want to answer the phone, and he transferred me. Like they have this thing where once you you're locked in with a recruiter, your mm. calls get directly sent to that person. It right. doesn't matter if, who you call. Right. So I'm like, can I speak to someone else or your supervisor or something, find out whatever, whatever. And then okay. the supervisor, he came on with a lot of attitude and everything. And I'm like, okay, well, thank you. And I was just like, I'm, I'm just not gonna, I'm, so, I'm not gonna. And shortly after they changed the whole process over there. Yeah, so yeah, you you mentioned that is now that you got you know being a new driver, you got to spend at least six thousand miles on the truck, and and I'm yeah. and I'm sure you heard of the horror stories of the of the trainers that they have over there at Prime, right? Yes, yes, yeah. I have. I, I heard Queen Trucking story, and I couldn't believe what was happening. And I'm like, that is a little crazy, you know. And yeah, I did her- write in her comments some advice and everything because I'm like, they can. That's just ridiculous. You yeah, know? her her story was like her story was like wow because like I said mm-hmm. I you know like I said I I watch I watch Junior her uh, her uh, Honduras Hernandez Hernandez oh, yep. or uh, is it Hernandez or Honduras, Honduras? <laughs> yeah. no right Honduras. <laughs> you know yeah. I, I watch him and it's like you know he's like this cool calm collected type of trainer and you you watch him and you think like everybody Everybody's is like, like that. that. You know, mm-hmm. then there's this other there's this other guy that's that's uh, that's training over there with Prime, and he's all cool, calm, and collected. And when you see the videos, you be like, "Oh, everybody's like that." But then, but then you hear horror stories like Queens and horror stories like uh, Dial Face. It's like mm-hmm. it's like wow, like that's that that's what really is that's what really is going on, and that's what Prime hates. They hate. Prime hates plat uh plaid. Prime hates bad publicity, period. Oh yeah. You know, and oh, that's yeah. why they was in my opinion, that's why they were so hard on Queen Trucking, because they didn't want that type of information to be thrown out there about them. So uh-huh. So moving on, you uh you you did your homework. You did your homework with Snyder. You said that uh you're not feeling the sleep apnea test costs. And just not sure about them in general. What what you're not sure about, and what's this sleep apnea cost that that you you had to pay for a sleep apnea test or something? So I heard a lot of what I do is I research on the internet for different companies and everything. I'll go on YouTube. I'll go on their the company websites. So I'll check them out. Um, sometimes call them and see what they're saying and everything. But I've um, I even Snyder they have a page, so I go on there and I look at it and listen to what they say and everything like that. So um, I heard something about uh, sleep apnea tests they to do when you feel which um, if you don't take their insurance. Uh, the company insurance, then you're going to be paying a thousand dollars for a sleep apnea test, or um, you have their insurance, which you have to pay weekly for, and everything like that. And then I guess it's covered or something like that. So I'm not liking that. Um, they have the whole 
hair follicule thing, which I'm not I'm not scared of or nothing because I I'm not gonna lie, I used to smoke, but I stopped. I didn't stop for a while, and I'm just like, okay, they're going the extra mile, and a lot of people said that their processes have changed, mm-hmm. so I'm a little hesitant about that it is a good company i've heard it's a good company i haven't heard too many bad things about it but i do look at consider other people's experience i'm not saying that their experience is going to dictate mine but Mm -hmm. it's good to know what you're saying about a company that you would prospectively go and work for you know now you know snyder snyder is like snyder is like the boot camp of trucking (laughs) <laughs> you know when, they, when you come in when you come in when you come in the doors of snyder it's like coming into the into the trucking military over there but uh sleep apnea though why why would they why would they want to put a sleep apnea test on you i mean you're not you're not overweight at least that's what i'm looking at you're not no unless I'm unless not. i'm <laughs> unless i'm being catfished over here you know what i'm saying you know being trucking yeah. you know being trucking catfish over here you know but you're you're not you're not overweight. I mean, overweight or obese or diabetes or anything like that. So why would you have to? Why would you have to do a sleep apnea test? You know, I heard that everybody has to do one. Like oh, okay. everybody doesn't matter and stuff. So that I'm like, uh, can, like, why? Why? A lot of these companies they have things where they're added costs for drivers. But even time, um, you have to. When I call, they're like, yeah, you. Have uh, you kind of you kind of breaking up. Sure. You kind of breaking you kind of breaking up. It's like you're moving around and I'm losing you. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Stay right there, right there. <laughs> there you go. Go okay. ahead, continue. So I hate that some of these companies have added costs to drivers as far as oh yeah, before you come here or when you get here you're gonna have to pay this like the whole sleep apnea thing if you don't take their insurance or whatever mm-hmm. you know and prime had this whole thing where it's like oh yes it's not expensive it's, it's, it's not the point but the point is why are you charging people to get a job i don't understand why they do that um prime had this thing where you pay a hundred dollars or 150 dollars maybe they since changed it because you have to get your permit at home but they have this thing where you have to pay them a hundred dollars before you even go there you know and i'm just like that's a little crazy like why you had to pay a hundred dollars for i have no idea they said um something fees but it's the show was a while ago see i gotta i gotta i gotta call them back and find out uh get the Mm -hmm. update on them all right so uh moving on all right, so you heard good things about Warner. What you find out about Warner? So um, one thing I want in a company, go there. I want a company that's going to train me very well. Um, as far as I don't want to do the whole team driving thing, you know. Okay. I did consider Prime, and the reason why I consider them was because they did pay a little better than some companies after training. But I don't want the team driving training i want when i'm driving my trainer is there in the seat next to me let me know if i did something wrong what i'm doing right and you know correcting my mistakes and everything i don't want you in the back bunk seat or something where warner had this whole thing with ever in the training and this whole accident where everybody's getting sued so um i look at that stuff so you know all right, a and, lot of research. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, you, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it right here, man. You did, you did your, you did your homework. I'm gonna have to commend you. I'm gonna have to commend you, future driver. You really went above and beyond to doing your uh, due diligence on finding out what these companies are about, and that's what this channel is all about: helping you guys make the, you know, hopefully make a good decision. You know, you you're not that first decision is not always going to be the best decision, but I hope it's a good one. So the next up is uh, Rail. You 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 called them up, but uh, you said you found out about the driver cams, the multiple cams, even the cameras in the sleeper. I'm I'm yeah. I'm not. Uh, where where did you find out about that? And you talking about the camera that's they actually no. They don't have a camera like in the in the uh, in the. They don't have an individual camera, in the sleeper. They they got a camera that's on the, that's on the window, but multiple cameras. Yeah. So I called Rohel, and they have a 
a good training program as far as I am told um, from articles and news, news and everything like that. Um, they are one of the top um, best training companies to be at and everything. Um, I did call them and I spoke to a lady and maybe, maybe who knows, maybe it was misinformation or whatever, but um, um, I asked her about the cameras and she's like, yeah, there's a driver camera, a dash, a dash camera, which I don't mind a dash cam because of course that's for you to mm-hmm. make sure that you protect it and everything like that. But the driver camera, I have a uh, problem with And then she's like, oh, there's another camera or two cameras. And, you know, she's like, um, in the back or whatever. And I'm like, why would they have a camera in the back? Or why would they have a, you know, you you know Why what they... you know what you know what not you know what this is what I probably think was she meant by a camera in the back. I don't think she meant a camera in the back of the cab, in in the in the sleeper area. I think she meant there was a camera that's in the back of the truck. It's like mm-hmm. a backing camera. So that's that's what I can see, you know. And I'm still gonna. I'm still going to call them again just to make sure I yeah, ask some sure. other questions and everything. So even these companies I called already, except for Prime, uh, <laughs> I'm going to call them again and um, find out really like ask them some deep questions and everything. Because I'm doing my research on what to ask and what you need to know and everything right. like that as well. All right. So basically, um, uh, so basically all the companies that we went over so far, has there been any other companies that you, uh, that you did your research on or called? Okay. So I did call Millet Transfer and Transport. Mm-hmm. Was transfer. Yeah, so I did call Mellis, and you know, I I heard some good things about them. Like, yeah, they pay good and everything like that and right. stuff. Like, at the end of the day, I still want to get paid good. I know I'm not gonna get paid the best being a rookie coming in the first year and everything like that. But mm-hmm. at the same time, I don't want to go work for CR England and get 14 cents a mile. You know, so um, I called them and I was asking them and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to have my CDL and, you know, what would it be like coming to your company and everything? So the person, the recruiter was like, well, we have our school here and our students and right now there's a long backed up list and we need to take care of our students first so you can come back when you get three months of experience. Right. So I'm like, well, I guess they're off the board because I can't go there unless I have experience because right now they're not really trying to hire fresh drivers that they have to train and stuff because they have their own people to train. Oh, okay. But I do believe they start out at um, 40 cents after training, mm. which is pretty good. That's pretty decent. Mm, um, mm, so. mm, mm, mm. No, no, no. Unless I'm mistaken. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I asked somebody. I asked the most driver. Mm-hmm. That's what he told me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 30. Uh, for, for a new driver, brand new driver that's coming out of school, my opinion, and this is only my opinion, my opinion is that you should not take nothing less than 39 or 40 cent uh, pay per mile. That's that's my yeah. opinion, because because coming, you know, like I said, if you coming into the game, all right, if you coming into the game, of course, that first year, you're not going to make no money. So forget what everybody tells you that you're going to make fifty thousand dollars. You're going to do sixty thousand dollars. You're going to do that in the first year. Yay. Yay. No, you're not. <laughs> No, you're not because that first that. <laughs> that first they all say that. But that first couple of months that or at least that first month, you're gonna be making uh training pay. And that's gonna be anywhere mm-hmm. that's gonna be anywhere between four hundred to five hundred dollars a week. All right. That's that training yeah, pay. Then after the training pay, whatever the amount that they offer you to get, you know, that they offer you, you know, for new drivers, that's that's just my opinion, but what they're going to start you off at like 35 cent, 34 cent, uh 38 cent. You're not going to make you you're not going to make no 60 grand in that first that first year with 38 cent amount. All right? Exactly. That first year that first year should always be 
the inaugural year should always be the experience year. Now, I understand that you guys come in, that you guys come in, y'all have a whole bunch of responsibilities on your back. You know, this, and this is some of the reasons why people choose trucking anyway, because of the financial reasons. But y'all got, fi y'all got financials that's, that's, that's up to here on your shoulders. Just, you know, just remember that first, that first year, that first couple of months, you, you, you're not going to make that kind of money that everybody says that you can not make. Because you're you number one, you're a greenhorn. Number two, you're training, and number three, the company's not going to trust you with with some of their key loads anyway. So exactly. So yeah. So just just you know, but you you doing your due diligence. I you know, like I said, I, I I like I like your hustle. I like your grind. As far as you going out there finding out which company is good for you, you're not just taking like lockout men. The first company that says, "Hey, we'll hire you. Come on in." Yo, yeah, U.S. Express, I'm here. Yay! No. <laughs> You're funny. So no, but because the thing is, I know I'm not gonna get top dollar. I'm not gonna make all the money, but at the same time, mm -hmm. out the gate, I want to make the best that I can with the best experience that I can get. You understand? So okay. that's what I'm aiming for. And I'm just like, okay, maybe I shouldn't listen to a lot of people so much because everybody, <laughs> everybody has something bad to say. And like I said, there's no perfect company and everything, but I want the perfect one, I guess, for me or for the situation that I'm going into coming into trucking. Exactly. You know, so I just, yeah. Exactly. You know, and and there's a lot of and there's a lot of these YouTubers out here that 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 comes on here and say, hey. Prime is 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 next best thing to slice bread, but hey, mm -hmm. don't don't forget to put my name down on the on the reference when you call. And I'm not gonna lie, that's probably why I thought about Prime first because everybody when I started doing my research, everybody was talking about Prime. I mean, everybody was like, "Oh, Prime is the best," and come here and do this. And um, I was even thinking like, "Ooh, I'm probably gonna do lease." But I did more research into it, and I'm like, mm, I probably won't do lease, you know. I'll just grind and save my money, and then if anything, get my own truck. Because that's a little crazy, paying pay rent money every week for a truck, you know. So. And that's yeah. Hold on, and that's how, and that's pretty much, that's pretty much how it is. You, the, mm -hmm. I mean, by you breaking it down like that, you paying, you paying. I and she, she just said it best. You paying rent money for the truck every week, man. You you just said it best right there. And like I said, don't don't go by what all these YouTubers be saying. You know, don't don't be going don't don't be going by what are they saying that oh yeah these companies the company that I work at is uh, yada yada yada. I mean I was there. Hey look, I, well stop. Don't don't say nothing, y'all. Don't don't fill up my comments. I was that guy. <laughs> I, I I know I was that guy. I know I did J and R Shrugal, but you got to understand too. I, I, I was getting paid directly by J and R Shrugal to do that too. So you got to understand. <laughs> you got to understand the back, the back end of of you know drivers coming out there pimping their their companies that they working at. You know, when J and R Shrugal got wind of of my YouTube status and and what I was doing on show, on social media. You know, in the background, they brought me in the background and they was like, look, how would you like to get this, that and the third? All for you, just, you know, just mentioning our, our name in your in your YouTube videos. Oh, yeah, hell, that, that's exposure. Hell, <laughs> hell yeah. Hell, OK, y'all. J and R. Shrugal. Yeah. J and R. Shrugal. J and R. Shrugal. J and R. Shrugal. <laughs> Uh, I, I was on. I, I mean, you go back in my past, J and R Shrugal. But then I let them know, though. I did let them know, like, look, when y'all come in and 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 get with J and R Shrugal, only know that this is your experience and not mine. All right, don't exactly. don't don't come in and say, oh well, lockout men said that this, that, and the third. Uh uh, I said this, that, and the third was for lockout men. Not for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
But exactly so. But of course, all that changed. So, like I said, you know, I, I I'm not pimping the the new company that I'm at now. I love the company where I'm at now, but I, you know, like I said, I'm I'm cool on not pimping them at all because I get paid real good. <laughs> yeah, um, that's good. All right, so so by you doing all this research and everything, and you decided to get into trucking, who who was the people that influenced you the most to become this route? Trucking. Um, funny enough, um, it was. Please don't say trucker back. Brown. Oh, <laughs> trucker! Um, hey, hey, trucker B. If you if you watching this video and you probably is, don't no shots fired to you, bro. All right, I'm I'm just saying no shots fired to you. But go ahead. All right, let me be honest. Um, I watch a lot of YouTubers that um, their trucking experience and talk about their company and what they're going to. He was one of them okay and I say was because I saw his earlier videos that popped up and I'm like oh, okay he got some knowledge you know let me check it out and everything like that and I was paying attention I was seeing what's going on and everything but then the the progress in that channel and now and I'm like oh no I'm sorry but I'm, I'm sure no I'm sorry so other than you know and there's a other than trucker brown who else he didn't influence me. He just had a point on oh, okay. trucking right. that I was like, okay. Um, as far as who encouraged me to get my CDL, mm -hmm. it was back in the day, my old dispatcher from the taxi company I used to work for, he told me, he's like, get up, get off this taxi stuff. There, there's no money here. Go, go, go get your CDL. Go do this. And I did get my C while I was in New York and I gave it up when I came over here. But now, like I said, I'm getting it back because I decided to go a different route and I'm really considering trucking. Um, I do watch Smart Trucking. Or is That's it Smart a good Trucker? channel. Shout out to Smart yeah, he's Trucking. Very, That's a very, he's very good knowledgeable. channel. He's very knowledgeable in a lot of things. And um, what's the other guy's name? Oh, my God. I'm so horrible. <laughs> um, I found you of Queen Trucking and I watch trucking experience and I, the thing was when I first started researching I searched for truckers you know and then I'm like wait no female truckers and then a whole go. bunch of truckers popped up and everything a whole bunch of um, Caucasian ladies and I'm like well I want to see what my sister's doing so I'm like a lot okay. of female truckers you know and um, a bunch it's of ladies not, popped up I've, not that many of us I mean many of you guys out here exactly or ones you really want to watch and listen to and stuff so um highway diva um i found miss diva later um keeping it 100 i love her she's she's cool and like i said highway diva is cool and um i did find jay rich now i found her <laughs> hold on <laughs> hold on but before i say jay rich i found um i found my girl I'm so horrible. I'm having like old people brain right now. It's probably because I'm about to be 30, <laughs> you know. But, um, hey, Pink Baby, I watch her. She, from her progress from company up to her own in her own truck and everything, she, I think she is a good motivation for a lot of females out here and everything. Um, but yeah, so I found Jay Rich. And at first I was watching her and I'm like, oh, okay, girl's doing her thing. You know, and like I said, it slowly transpired where I didn't want to watch you anymore. And I noticed, like, me reaching out to her as a female, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what I look at, too. I'm like, I'm reaching out to you as a female to see where your head's at, see what you're talking about and mm -hmm. what advice you could give because I'm trying to come into this field, too. And I caught a couple of her lives and, you know. Um, you was turned off on She would just. Yeah, I was turned off on it, and the fact that um, she was more interested in the guy's comments, like, who you sexy? And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay. You know, and I'm like, you know, as you're a not, sister trying to, you know. You're not looking for that. Ex 
Exactly. You know, like I'm I'm trying to see what's going on and it's just like I'm asking her stuff and she just skips over all of that and I'm like, Okay, well I see what it is. It's fine with me, it's no problem. I, I just wanted to get your point of view on what the um trucking is out there, you know, so I look at a lot of that, and uh, I'm just like, man, these YouTubers are crazy. Well, there's um, there are some good ones, but there's, there's some good. Uh, some of them is crazy. There, there's some good female truckers out here that do have some that do have some uh, good uh, that good that good information. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh, like I said, keeping it one hundred. I it, love you know keeping to it one hundred. Her well, doing her thing. Yeah, some doubles. You I'm know, kinda, I'm kind of I'm I'm kind of on the fence with uh, keeping it one hundred. I still, she's still my girl though. You know what I'm saying? I still, you know, I I still mess with her. I still watch her content, but it it kind of like. You know, in the beginning, she was she was giving the information. She was giving great information. Uh, she did a stint in, you know, the owner op, and she was, you know, the I mean, the lease purchase, and she was still giving mm -hmm. good information. But now it's more like turning into a lifestyle channel, more of a yeah, yeah, I more know of that. a more I know of a that. you know, this is what I'm doing my doing with my family channel, you know. And which is which is good. It's her own channel. It's great, but you know, for a lot of new drivers that's coming in, yeah, they, we want to see the trucking. We want to see what, you what you it wanna is. See the, what's you going on? You want to see the trucking now? Another yeah. Now, Sunshine Diva. She's definitely mm -hmm. still. She stepped. She's she stepped up oh, her I game. I love her. She stepped her, up her game. Her elevation is her elevation. Crazy. Okay. Yes. Shout her out to Sunshine Diva. Yes, they are. Jeez. So shout out to Sunshine Diva, um, Miss Diva Trucker. That's a mm -hmm. that's another one. She got good information as well. And shout out to uh, Diva Trucker and and. Um, and my condolences goes out to you for the loss of your family member as well. So she's a yes, she's yeah. another one that has good information sometimes. Um, um, Nick and Carla, I love. Oh, oh. I, I, I love, can't believe I didn't even say that. Yeah, I love. I love. I love, <laughs> I love Nick and Carla. Shout out to Nick and Carla. They they content. Nick, I I will forever Nick, in the, I will forever Nick in the got day. Nick got over yeah, there, you she, know. Her, she, her she editing, thing. her editing game is on fire. But that's, but like I said, that's because it's both of them, and she got the additional time and the mm -hmm. the additional work to put into her content for her channel. You know, if you exactly. if, if she was just by herself or something like that, I don't think. Well, I, you know what? I take that back. I think it probably still will be fire, it, it, even if she was by herself, because her editing game is that. Is that yeah, is that and she point. talked about doing that kind of work before and stuff, so uh, she knows what she's doing. Um, let me see. Another female trucker. You you mentioned Pink Barbie in Pink Baby Doll. Um, Pink Baby Doll, yeah. Mm, nah, she started out at I, Prime. I, I, I'm gonna, I like... <laughs> I'm going to say I'm... I, look, Pink... Pink baby doll, if you're watching, no shots to you either. But I'm really not a fan. <laughs> oh my god! But you, but she's like doing, that she's she doing went her from company she, to getting her own truck, right? And right. Now she's over at Land starting doing her thing. Yeah, she's there, still doing. You know? She's still doing her thing. She's still doing her thing and everything. And shout out to the shout out to the weight loss because you know you losing you losing hell oh, yeah. of weight. Oh yeah. So shout out to you on that, but. You know, I, you know, I, I can't say honestly that I am a fan of her voice. I love, I love her accent. Oh, the accent yeah, is beautiful. I love her, I love her accent. But, but as far as the channel, I mean, she comes on and then she leaves. She comes back on and then she leaves. She comes back I'm on because, and then know, she leaves. That and that's me with social media. I'd be like, look, I'm so inconsistent there. It's not even funny. Uh, right, right. It, so it happens. It but happens. there's there's some there's some there's some black females that's uh that's in trucking. You know, maybe not a, not enough that's in this YouTube field, but there's yeah. some there's some black female truckers out there that's that's um uh, that's 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 out there. So, well, all right. Um, 
let me see. Ah, uh, let me see. We we we've been rocking for a little bit, so yeah, this still cool. Let's keep it going, man. I like this. Okay. Um, all right. So you you already told you you already told me uh, the resources that you that you that's helping you along the way. You doing YouTube. Mm -hmm. You doing calls. You doing. You doing um you doing casework. Web research. You, yeah, you doing that. casework. Yeah. That's that lawyer work right there. You doing casework. This is, is me. this is this is CS this is CSI trucking she's doing. <laughs> yeah, she's doing I'm that. A, I'm a I'm a I'm a person when I'm going into something, I wanna know as much about it as possible. I want to know everything, you know. I I want to make sure that I know what I'm walking into and everything cuz I'm a, I guess I'm a warrior or um I think a lot, and my mind never stops going. I always think of possibilities, outcomes, and everything, and I have to roll that all in my head. That's all I was telling you. I'm like, I feel so overwhelmed checking out all these companies. <laughs> you know, I feel like maybe I should make a Wheel of Fortune wheel and put up my tops and just spin it and see what happens because it's a lot out there. It is so much out there, and not to even mention, there's a lot of companies over here in Illinois mm -hmm. as well that are not major carriers but are actually um, good in the game where it's like, oh, you could go over here and it'll still be good, you know, and stuff okay. like that. Um, one of the things that my branch manager at the school said to me, she's like, um, you could always go to a smaller carrier, yes, and but the difference between the smaller carrier and the big, larger carrier is... Um, I guess the habits, like there's so, all of them, of course, is regulation, small and large, but you, you gain good habits from large okay. um, mega carriers and stuff. So, uh, well, you know what I, I, and I'm going to, I'm going to sit here and, and agree to disagree with you on that because a lot of the, a lot of the bad habits comes from mega carriers though. Ooh. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? A lot of bad habits comes from mega carriers, you know? So, that hey, that's again. That's my opinion. That's all. No, no, it's fine because you said they're they're a lot stricter than the smaller companies. Right, too, so right. They are. It's they a lot are because they they're they're a lot of you know they're they're ridiculed more. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. you know they're they're scrutinized more. So that's why they that's why they you know a lot of the small stuff, a lot of the stuff that drivers can get away with with a small company you can't get away with with a big company you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying because they scrutinize all right so so sharika man what what's you said uh you said you do have a youtube so what, what what's your name on youtube very quick uh okay my name on youtube is ricky cherry spell uh, that. a lot of people say Spe ricky sherry spell that <laughs> spell that r-i-c-a-c-h-e R I C A C H E C wait R R Wait 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 all right is it one word or two one word together all right so C I mean R I C A C C H E H E R R R R I I. Rika Cherry with an I, oh, but I don't have any trucking stuff on my stuff. I what? game. Well, um, no, no, I'm no. That's that's game. what I'm about to. That's why. I'm, <laughs> that's why I'm jumping on your. That's why I'm jumping on your YouTube right quick because when when we started talking, when we started talking, and I jumped on your YouTube page right quick. You you got all these games up on here, man, and I'm like, yo, wait, <laughs> are you a gamer? So this is this is yes. what you this is what you do in your free time. Let me see. This is um definitely definitely. I got a I, I you look like the, the what's this Call of Duty? The first one, Duty Don't Judge Me. Yes. That's that's <laughs> called you rocking Call of Duty, man. Come on, man. And you you was on here for like what three hours? And you gotta you gotta excuse my um you gotta excuse my uh <laughs> my uh internet, y'all, because it's kind of slow. But this is, oh, she, look, man, I'm Call of Duty. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Call of Duty, man. But uh, I, I, listen, uh, listen, Xbox One or PS4? PS4 all day. Yes. Xbox One or PS4. Oh, I was on Xbox back in the day, the 360 days, but I'm a PS4 girl. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I went man. back to what I originally knew. I started out on you know, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, then 
it was PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, jump to the Xbox side for 360, then jump right back to PlayStation. Oh, uh, you, you're a woman after my heart. I mean, I, <laughs> man. I mean, I, man, listen, I was a gamer. I, I was a gamer to my heart. My internet is, is so crappy. But uh, I was a gamer to my heart. I mean, every video game count. Now, guys, I'm 50 years old. So every video game console that ever, and, I, and I'm not bullshitting, that ever came out, I had. Anything, yes, yes. any, any, you know, I'm, I'm an '80s, you know, I'm an '80s kid, so I came from the Atari era. So Atari mm. 2600, try Atari Eight. 7800, Atari the computer Atari, ColecoVision. Y'all know what I'm saying? The the Tommy, the handheld Tommy games, the Game oh, Boy, Game them. Gear, yes. the uh the Neo Geo. You know what I'm saying? The the Sega Genesis. <laughs> The Sega Master System, you know, the Nintendo, the Nintendo 64, the Nintendo, mm. um, the the Super Nintendo, the Family Con. I even had the Japanese uh, games, uh, <laughs> consoles, you know what I'm saying? Uh, nice. The, uh, the Sega Genesis, Sega 30, uh, the 32X, the Sega CD, you know what I'm saying? The Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast. The PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3. I stopped at the PlayStation 4 because I never had it, so I'm going to be honest. But the Xbox, right. Xbox 360, and now currently the Xbox One, and then the new Xbox that's coming out at the end of the year, the Xbox X Series 10, 13, 14, or whatever. I will have no, that sir. too. Uh -oh. No, sir. Uh -oh. Sir, you got to come over to the PlayStation side. I can't rock with you on Xbox. I'm sorry. Come on now. Come on over. You know it's better. Come on. Come, <laughs> you just say, do it. Just, you say, you it. say I know it's better on the, on, the, on the Xbox, I mean on the uh, PlayStation side, huh? Yes. Come yeah, on over, I see. Man. I see you, you know, on the couch. I see you on the couch <laughs> rocking, man. This stuff, man. <laughs> What's your uh, like, what, oh man, this this is it. So you so this is what you do in your spare time. This is um This is what I do in my spare time. I've been doing it for years. I'm a huge fan of video games. Okay. I'm not saying I'm the best of video games, but I try. Hey. I suck sometimes, but sometimes I'm awesome. And I'm all for the ride, so you know Now the only problem that's not even the only problem I had now, me and my son, we we was into um uh, Modern Warfare 2 back in the day. Woo! Mm -hmm. Way back in the day. That was my game. Mm. The only problem that I had, I literally had to turn the headphones off because, you know, you got assholes that's that's literally taught so much shit. Sometimes that oh, is oh. a big See? ass turn mm. off. Mm. <laughs> big turn off. I talked shit all day. I'm sorry. That's a big turn off. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here and 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 some dude, I, look, I'm 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 not a racist, so I'm not even going to mention color or anything oh. like that. But I'm just going to say, some dude in some in somebody's basement is just talking so much shit about enter this and enter that, and I'm going to do this. Oh yeah, you won't do that shit in person, bruh. Come come oh, no, from they won't. They come, wouldn't. come they from wouldn't. behind, come from behind that that uh that mic and that TV. And try and do that shit in 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 real life, bro. It's not gonna. They happen. wouldn't. They not wouldn't. Uh, even that that video that you're on the "Don't Judge Me" video. Mm -hmm. I was playing with a friend of mine and everything, and we were playing. This guy, he had his mic off the whole time, and he sucked. <laughs> you know, me and my friend where they're fighting and everything, and he just sucked. He didn't do nothing. And my friend's like, "Oh, Blue, you suck, Blue. You know, you suck." And the guy, he just comes on and is like, oh, you guys sound like a bunch of enters. And I'm like, wow, wow, okay. Wow. Yeah, so you do get a lot of, like, over the internet, um, there's a lot of internet gangs, there's a lot of mm -hmm. internet racists, and they'll say whatever and stuff like that. So um, you do get that sometimes. You get that a lot. Um, I play a lot of different games. My games are very diverse, I guess, because I play a lot of different things. And 
you know, it's, it's, it's a turn off that way because I'm like, dude, it's just not that serious. You, know, you don't got to go there. But, you know, if you want to be stupid, you sound stupid. Go ahead. <laughs> you know, so. I got you, uh, man. I got you. So this is what's up. So this is what you do in the meantime while you're getting everything together. So I know, I know exactly when you get on that truck. I, I know what it is. I know what it is oh, you when you get on that know. truck. I'm I, sorry. I'm going to have my time for this. You know, I'm not a clubber and partier. I did that in my younger years and everything, you know, early 20s. Oh, look at you. Look, look at but you. Sweet with the I'm sniper? Just... <laughs> sweet with the sniper? Oh, my God. Oh, my. Look, look at you with, from the distance. I love sniping. That's my, that's my. I told you I'm good with a gun. And I'm not talking about it just in the video games. I'm good in real life. Oh, you too. say you, you say no, you I'm sweet. You, at that say, range. you say you sweet at the range, huh? Oh yeah. Man. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> well, Rika, 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 Sherry, Sharika. That's a that's a nice name. I, I like Rika Sherry. Where where did you uh, yeah. where where did you come up with that name? How how you come up with Rika Sherry? Was that a name that you used when you got online? Yes, that is my PSN name and everything. Um, so basically on every, um, on fate, no, not Facebook, Facebook's for family. Ain't nobody know my Facebook. And yeah, if you, you type the truth, yeah, you, you ain't going to find me, exactly, you know, exactly. <laughs> but, um, YouTube, Instagram, um, and wait, maybe Twitter, but I don't even use that no more. Um, it's Ricky Cherry because it's just for the internet or whatever, you know, and my name is Sharika, so I kind of went Sharika Cherry. Well, or Sharika, Sherry, as people say. <laughs> this has been this has been one of my favorite podcast that i have done man thank you very, oh, thank you thank you very much for coming on much 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 success uh for you in the trucking game uh stay focused when you get into this game because it's not for the faint of heart you know what i'm saying it's definitely oh, not for the faint of, faint of heart you know the, i just did a podcast uh yesterday with another female trucker and i was just asking her about what's um, what are some of the things that some new jacks going to have to get used to when they come out here in this field? And one of which you're going to have to get used to the public. And what I mean by public, you're going to have to get used to public bathrooms, public showers, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. e eating with, with public people. You're going to have to deal with the public. And if you're not used to that, if you're not used to that, which is, of course you you're not because you you know this is your first time coming into it but that's something that you're going to have to get used to all right all right rika sherry what is what is more important to you truth or happiness oh my god you and these questions you'll be trying to set me up <laughs> um i think can i have both you want both? I, I like the truth. I like I like somebody being straightforward with me, honest. I don't like the going around corners and pretending and none of that. And I like to be happy. I don't like to be miserable. Who does? You know. So I want both. I want everything. You want Sorry, both? Then like you that. for for you, Rika <laughs> Sherry. You can have both. You can have both. I'm about to throw. I'm throwing both of them to you right now. You can have the truth and the happiness. That's what's up. Well, Rika Sherry, everybody. This is Rika Sherry, uh, Sharika. She's a future truck driver that's coming out in this game. So if you guys ever see her or anything like that, please welcome her out here with open arms. You know, don't try to be no, don't try to be no dick or anything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> give, give her her respect because that's what she's coming out. That's and that and this goes out to all female drivers that's coming out to the game, male trainers. Males, periods, give these ladies they respect that they deserve. You know what I'm saying? They coming out here doing what we doing. And you never thought in a million years that you will see a lady behind the wheel of a big red truck doing the damn thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So give her, give her her due diligence. Give her her respect. And I understand some of the other female truckers that may want to present themselves the other way. You know what I'm saying? Not mentioning no names, mm -hmm. but if they want to present themselves the other way, that's all fine too. But 
the ones that want to be taken serious, give them they respect. Don't just come on here and say, don't come on her YouTube and be like, oh, I want to get with you. Or if, 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 you know, look, look, you know, googly eyes and all like that. Don't do that. And, and thank you for that. Because, you know, I, I, like I said, I watch a lot of, um, YouTubers and everything. And, you know, it's not about that, you know? And the thing is, I just feel like people that, uh, feed off that is just like, maybe you don't get enough of that out here or something that you need it. But honestly, I don't care for it. I don't need it. So you have to keep all that. You feel me? I'm good. All right, so, so if you guys, if you guys want to know why I keep adjusting my hat, is because I I got my frame right here, and it's a mark that always follows me. But when it's not tracking my face, as you guys can see, the you know, as you guys can see, it'll get dark in my in my um in my picture. So that's why I keep adjusting my hat so it can keep the light so that it won't show darkness or nothing like that. All right, everybody. Sharika, Rika Sherry from YouTube. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I wish you. The, hey, thank you for having me. You're very welcome. I wish you the best. I wish you the thank best. You. And uh, <laughs> and yeah. So everybody, if you like content like this and more, yo, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. And particularly the sharing because the share works. I want you guys to share, share these, share these <laughs> young jacks experiences out here. You know what I'm saying? Because each one teach one. You ain't gonna know unless you unless you know. And we got this platform now for new jacks to to find us to give them the information. All right. So while uh, while I'm saying all that good stuff, you guys have fun. You guys take it easy, and I will come back to you in another video. You guys take it easy. Uh, again, I know I, I know I said it before. I'm rambling now. I know I'm rambling. <laughs> I'm rambling because I don't want to hang up from this young lady. I mean, I just want to go <laughs> on and on and on with this young lady, but I got to because I got to get home. I got to go around the corner and get this hat, and um, and I got to go. Look, look I'm, I'm cutting it right now. Cut. <laughs> ah! You are so crazy. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. You're, so You're welcome. Sweet. You're welcome. You're welcome. No, thank you. Thank you. This is one of the this this is not this is one of the best podcasts that I did thus far. So.